Hello again guys. Um, last time we studied about the data types that we use in Dart and then we had the for loop and then if else or if and else if. This time we are going to have the Dart IO and this here uh, exclamation mark and question mark as the null aware operators. So let's go back to our Visual Studio code. This is what we did last time. Okay. Let's suppose um, int x is equal to 5. Then we have our for loop here. x, um, nope, I have it here. Let's put it inside our for loop int x is equal to 5, x is less than or equal to uh, 7, no, 10, let's say 10. No, let's uh, say 8, x plus plus, which is for, which is to increment the volume of x. Okay, open and closing curly bracket. Place the closing curly bracket or brace below. And then we type here print and we print um, flutter. Semicolon at the end. Okay. Control S on our keyboard to save. Here we type CLS, clear our screen, and then type the command dart example dot dart, press enter. So we're printing the flutter, uh, flutter four times. But in this example, it's printed on the next line. But what if we want to print it on the same line? That means we have to use the Dart I.O. How we're going to use the Dart I.O. Now here, above void main function, we can type here import. As you can see, I have here the suggestions. If you have installed the Dart extension here using this here, um, if you have the Flutter and the Dart extension, automatically you have here these suggestions. So you don't have to type it. Uh, I can use this one here, import. Then I can select here what I wanna import. But in our tutorial, we're going to use this one, I.O. So here, the blue curly lines here, zigzag lines, says that this import is not used. So we are going to use this in order to display the flutter, uh, this flutter word on the same line, not on the new line. So in this case, we're not going to use print anymore. So what we're going to use is if we have the import dart io, then we can use std, which is for which means standard, and out. Std out dot write. And in here, can put flutter. Again, semicolon at the end. The control we control our uh, press control s in our keyboard. And then here we run it, run it. Now you can see that the, the uh, flutter is displayed on the same line. If you wanna put a space here, just, uh, we'll try this one, space, yep. Control S, control S and then arrow up, press enter. Now we have space, flutter, 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 flutter. That is how you write it this way if you want to display uh flutter on the same line so we're not using print we're using standard output dot right uh, std out dot right and then the um the value or a string that we want to display but we can only use std out dot right if we have this import here now what if we ask an input from the user. So we're not going to use the for loop in this example. Let's try to uh, 
say if you wanna if you wanna display the the output you type std out that right and then here flutter this is how you're going to write this one but if you want to ask an input from the user this is how you're going to do that the same if you're if you're a c programmer a c sharp or a java programmer you are going to declare the the variable x as an integer data type and then we're going to use that x to ask an input from the user. So in this example, I'm giving, uh, I'll try to give you two ways. Okay, we have here int x, and then we're going to use x equals std in dot read line sync semicolon now we have a red line here which means this is not the right way so we are going to because this is an integer what we're going to type here is int dot parse so we have here we'll just remove this one here okay and put the closing parenthesis here now you have this one here now okay um std in okay dot red line sync still we have a red line what's the error the argument type string can't be assigned to the parameter type string now we are going to have it here the set uh, the exclamation mark why because in dart exclamation mark and question mark are used as null aware operator why this is to uh, to check the null values now sometimes the user doesn't enter any value when asked for one so in order to um, solve that we are going to place a null aware operator here if you're asking for an integer but if you're asking for a string, for example, string name, you're going to use, let's say, uh, name is equal to std in dot redline sync. Then we have here um, an error. So a value of type string can't be assigned to a value of type string which means we have to have our null check operator. So in order to do that, in here, you can, you can place a question mark. It means it can accept null values. So it will throw an exception. If the user doesn't enter any value for our variable name, then we have here the question mark to check if the value is null. That is if you are asking for a string value but if you're asking for an integer value then you can do this put the exclamation mark here of course it's an integer so you use int dot parse but what if it is a double let's say double y and you are going to ask an input from the user or y you can have it y here equals still uh you can write here double dot parse then it's the same stdn dot read line sync not the read byte sync we use the read line sync again we use the null uh this one here null aware operator we put here exclamation mark so that's it so we're going to ask input from the user but we are going to display also a message so here you can type here std out dot write and then let's say enter a name semicolon at the end 
I place here a space so that um, when we type the name, it's not uh, it's it has a little space. So just copy that, and in here we're going to enter x value, and here enter y volume okay let's remove this one control s on our keyboard let's try to run our program cls okay enter an m let's say flutter x volume let's say five enter y value 5.5 5. it doesn't display anything right because we have to display what's been entered by the user so we can type it here std out that right entered name is again for string interpolation we use the dollar sign and then the variable that you use is name Here is td out that write the x value entered is dollar sign x semicolon at the end and in here std out dot write the y value entered is dollar sign y semicolon at the end Con control s on your keyboard let's try it again enter name let's say flutter enter name is flutter enter volume now we don't want to do that we just got we're just gonna place these results here at the bottom let's put it here here and this one here after getting the input from the user, that's the only time that we are going to display them. So let's control this on our keyboard, clear our screen. Oh, sorry for that, CLS. And then dart, uh, example.dart, press enter. Now enter the name Flutter. Enter X volume, which is five. Enter Y volume, which is 5.5. .5. Now here we have enter name is Flutter. The X volume entered is five. The y value entered is 5.5 but we have to make to give spaces here so we're gonna have it space here here and here control us on our keyboard let's run it again flutter 10 10.5 so we have here entered name is flutter the val the x value entered is 10 the y value entered is 10.5 now, if you want to display the result on the next line, you can use. Now, if you want to display the result, let's say flutter 5, 5.5. On the next line, you can use print instead of std out there, right? Or you can place here, slash n, here, slash n. Let's save it. Let's clear our screen. Run it again. Flutter 5 and 5.5. .5. So you're displaying this on the next line. This is how you're going to do it. Asking input from the user and displaying the input from the user. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in my next videos.